Although not a common occurrence in most healthcare facilities, the occasional need to perform elective or emergency surgery on patients with infectious TB may be a reality a healthcare organization is not prepared to handle. Minty Technologies, a leader in containment strategies and products, has developed the IcoRoom portable anti-room solution to meet this occasional yet serious infection control challenge. While the number of new TB cases in the U.S. has been slowing down over the past couple of decades, the rate of this drop is slowing. Of concern is the significant increase in the community of drug-resistant TB, including the recognition of a new threat of strains of TB that are resistant to all available anti-TB medications. Transmission of M. tuberculosis, therefore, remains a recognized risk in healthcare settings, and healthcare workers and patients need to be properly protected. The magnitude of TB risk varies by setting, occupational group, prevalence of TB in the community, patient population served, and effectiveness of TB infection control measures. The risk of transmission in the healthcare facility may be higher in settings in which patients with TB disease are missed or not suspected. As a result, use of airborne precautions may be delayed, placing healthcare workers and other patients at risk. In certain procedures, such as surgery, irrigation of a cutaneous wound or bronchoscopy or someone with an active disease can place personnel and others at risk of occupational exposure to TB. Of reported TB outbreaks in healthcare settings, Many have involved transmission of multidrug resistant or MDR TB strains to both patients and healthcare workers. Factors contributing to these outbreaks included delayed diagnosis of TB disease, delayed recognition of drug resistance, and delayed initiation of treatment, all of which resulted in prolonged infectiousness, delayed initiation of an inadequate airborne infection isolation practices and the lack of adequate environmental controls and respiratory protection for personnel during cough-inducing procedures on patients with TB disease. In March of 2006, a virtually untreatable strain of tuberculosis called XDR-TB, or extensively drug-resistant, which is resistant to at least five classes of antibiotics, is quickly emerging across the globe. According to the CDC's Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report, this represents a new emerging public health threat. The CDC has published two recent documents that address procedures performed on patients with TB disease. The guidelines for preventing transmission of mycobacterium tuberculosis in healthcare settings is very clear on the fact that surgical suites require special infection control considerations for preventing the spread of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Key interventions for this situation include Postpone non-urgent surgical procedures until the patient is on effective therapy. Perform surgeries in an OR with special ventilation controls. Remember, reversible ventilation system is not permitted as the OR pressure always needs to be positive. Perform surgery in an OR with an anteroom. When performing surgery in a room without anteroom, keep OR doors closed and consider using additional air cleaning technologies. When surgery cannot be postponed, it may be necessary to schedule patients with suspected or confirmed TB as the last surgical case of the day, when a minimum number of healthcare workers and other patients are present in the surgical suite. Postoperative recovery should be in an airborne infection isolation room. The CDC notes that placement of portable HEPA filter units in the OR must be carefully evaluated for potential disruptions in normal airflow. The portable unit should be turned off while the surgical procedure is underway and turned on following extubation. This latter point is very important as portable HEPA units in the OR disrupt normal ventilation patterns and could increase risk of contaminants being introduced into the patient's surgical site if allowed to run during the procedure. The solution to this occasional but critical need when performing a procedure on an infectious TB patient is the ICO room by Minty Technologies. This solution has been clinically proven and tested as a cost-effective and flexible alternative to costly renovation of an existing surgery suite. The ICO room combines a collapsible, portable anteroom with a high-volume, high-efficiency, HEPA-filtered negative air machine to simulate the performance of a fixed anteroom. An ICO room creates a just-in-time method for containing airborne diseases such as TB by creating negative air pressure relative to both the treatment space, e.g. the OR, 
and the surrounding corridor. While a limited number of organizations have the ability or resources to temporarily modify ventilation systems or install fixed anti-rooms, a portable system that performs a similar function is a perfect solution. Not only is a portable solution more cost-effective, it can be deployed on any OR or procedure room, eliminating the need to have a designated operating room with an anti-room or special ventilation. The ability to use a portable anti-room solution also eliminates the recommended practice of waiting to perform surgery until the end of the day, making sure the surgical suite has minimal staff and patients circulating in the suite. Having a solution that can be set up in a matter of minutes on any OR or procedure room is especially important when emergency surgery is needed on a patient. Here is what the portable anti-room solution can eliminate. 1. Having to modify the ventilation system. 2. Having to build fixed anti-rooms in the surgical suite. 3. Having to perform the surgical case at the end of the day. 4 having to alter the traffic patterns of staff and patients in the surgical suite circulating corridor. The ICO room also can move with the patient to the recovery area, as most recovery areas do not have an isolation room. While surgery is one of the primary uses of the ICO room, it can also be used when performing bronchoscopy on a patient with suspected TB when an airborne infection isolation room is not available. This is particularly important as many endoscopy units do not have permanent airborne infection isolation room. The portable anti-room solution also permits any procedure room to be quickly converted into a temporary negative pressure environment, simulating the ventilation requirements of an airborne infection isolation room. CDC highly recommends that all bronchoscopies performed on patients with suspected TB disease be accomplished in a room that meets the ventilation requirements of an airborne infection isolation room. Minty Technologies has worked with leading infection control and facilities engineering professionals to ensure the ICO room solution complies with national standards and provides the necessary performance to protect healthcare workers and patients. How does the ICO room help organization comply with CDC prevention guidelines? An anti-room equipped with HEPA filtration complies with the CDC recommendations for removing air potentially contaminated with mycobacterium tuberculosis from ORs, procedure rooms, and patient rooms. The CDC guidelines also permit the recirculation of HEPA cleaned air back into the adjacent occupied spaces. As with any equipment used in patient care areas, proper setup and maintenance of HEPA filter is important when filtered air is recirculated. Secondly, the ICO room simulates the performance of a fixed anti-room. Clinical testing has demonstrated that the ICO room portable anti-room system is as effective as fixed anti-rooms in isolating airborne infectious droplet nuclei without disrupting the important directional airflow within operating rooms. One of the key aspects of this solution is that it eliminates intrusive air scrubbers from the treatment environment. The ICA room functions completely outside the OR or procedure room, so it eliminates the space intrusion, ventilation disruption, and distractions from the additional noise that portable air scrubbers produce in a confined space. The ICA room is simple to install and operate. First, the ICA room portable anti-room is set up in the corridor outside the room to be isolated. Second. The flange on the portable anti-room is secured to the door frame by the use of Velcro. Third, the HEPA filtered negative pressure machine is attached to the 12-inch port on the side of the portable anti-room. The negative air machine should be turned on just before the patient is brought into the room. Although not a true, e.g. fixed, permanent anti-room, the ICO room works similarly by creating an airlock environment that is between the operating room and the surrounding corridor. The negative pressure in the ICO room anti-room pulls air from inside the OR or procedure room down away from the breathing zones of personnel in the room into an exhaust port near the floor. The air is then passed through and cleaned by the HEPA filtration unit and discharged safely back into the surrounding space. HEPA filtration is required by the CDC to be 99.97% effective in removing particles smaller than one-third of a micron and is approved for removing M. tuberculosis airborne infectious disease nuclei. The HEPA filtered negative air machine was specifically designed for this solution and has a variable speed airflow control of between 200 to 1600 cubic feet per minute 
which can effectively clear contaminants from a standard OR within minutes. The unit contains a pre-filter at 40% and a final filter at 99.99% at 0.3 microns, which exceeds the CDC requirements. It is constructed of a high-grade aluminum on easy-to-maneuver casters. The unit also has two options, a UVGI set of lamps with associated controls and an optional carbon filter if odor control is a concern. The unit is powered by a standard 120 volt 60 Hz electrical cord and plug. It is very important that all HEPA filtered negative air equipment be thoroughly inspected and tested prior to use to ensure the filters condition and proper installation. After the inspection is performed, the HEPA filtered air can be safely recirculated into the adjacent corridor of the surgical suite or other occupied spaces of the healthcare facility. The ICO room offers a unique solution that protects both patients and personnel. Its application is cost effective for facilities to adhere to CDC's TB guidelines aimed at preventing transmission of TB in healthcare facilities.